Good morning. Morning, sir. Can I you don't... just tell us about your favourite book that you've been reading? My favourite book? Well, it goes back five years and that's a great book and everybody should have one on their bookshelf. What is it? No, it's not that one, it's the Quran. How I got introduced to the Quran was I was on the plane coming back from New York. Yeah, that's over that way. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> and the thing is, believe it or not, really, this guy was reading the book. He left it on the seat when he got off the plane like me. And you know what? I chased after this guy and said to him, Hey, mister, you left your book. He said, No, you keep it. I said, Well, okay. So I kept it. And then I was waiting in the airport lounge in the throw. And what happened? I started to cry when I read the Quran. So I put the book down. I was happy. I was still the same. And then I picked it up again. I started to cry. And then I got a taxi to my brother's in London. And then what happened? I told him about the Quran that I made me cry. And, and do you know what? Just a moment. And then what happened was really he said, don't speak of nonsense things, don't speak of things. I said, well, the thing is really, why am I crying? And then he said, go next door. So I went next door, and who was there? The man that was on the plane. And the, and the thing is, name a number, any number. The thing is, I'm not selling that Quran for 20 million pounds or 20 thousand pounds. I read it twice a day, and not only that, I keep it under my pillow. And, and you, you also know, read it to people as well. Don't I you? do, and I'm just going to go with that. But, and not only that, as an activity coordinator working with people with dementia, I read it to them. And the thing is, they ask me questions. I don't know all the answers, but I know there's one thing in the Quran. What is it? Truth. And if you was lost in the desert, or you was lost somewhere in town, you'd ask somebody away. What's the Quran? It's a map for life.